Hey guys, so I'm just doing this quick period vlog video about some information that I've wanted to share myself for my experiences from dealing with periods while using cloth pads and menstrual cups. Um, I have I've been using cloth pads for about seven months and a menstrual cup for about the same kind of time. Um, and I have sewn all of my own pads. Um, I've sold some to friends when I was first starting and then I found out patterns that I really, really, really liked. So um, I've changed how I made my patterns and I've also bought some off of Etsy from two people. Um, but then when I figured out that I could just make mine own just as easily, I just was like, you know, I understand supporting the business, but if I can make my own, then I might as well make my own. And it's fun. It's very calming for me now that I know how to sew. So with cloth pads, um, it's just material on top and a type of um, absorbent material in the middle and on the back is some type of waterproof material. So this on here is quilter's cotton. On the back is anti-pill fleece and on the middle is flannel um, or toweling. I use flannel or toweling. But this is just a regular liner. Um, this material was like the hardest to like trace and stuff because it's black. So I just wanted to show you three liners that I use while on my cycle and then I'll talk about how I wash them and stuff and use stuff. So these are three liners that I have sewn up. Three different patterns in fact. This is a pattern, this is a pattern, and this is a different pattern. So all three are different patterns. All of them I use them. Um, and I absolutely love them. Liners are probably my favorite thing to have on handy. I have a ton of liners because they're useful for ovulation, light days, I mean anything. Um, sex, no, that's one that I use it for a lot because, yeah, that gets messy. But, um, so when I wash them, um, we'll talk about washing in a minute. And then here are three more different patterns. This is a different pattern. This is a pattern. And then this is a different pattern as well. So these are all three different patterns, all different shapes and all different absorbencies. This is a light day. It's a little, and these two are definitely on heavier days. So flannel, quilter's cotton, flannel. I like, um, Quilter's cotton, definitely a little bit better, but flannel is way more comfortable. Um, actually, they're both really comfortable. It's just preferences, what you like against the skin. And then these two were ones that I made for overnight. Um, this was my first square pad that I made. So it's square, quilter's cotton on the top. And then this one was an overnight pad that I made. So as you can see, I have sewn all of my pads. This is my wonderful basket of pads that I keep underneath my sink. Couldn't remember the name. And then you all know my wonderful menstrual cup that I always love talking about. There's I boil this for 15 minutes. Um, I trimmed my guy's tail off because the tail was like stabbing me in the vagina and it was really uncomfortable. So I just trimmed it off and now I don't have any problems with it. Um, and then I boil it for 15 minutes and put it back in, um, the bag that it came in. Like, it came in my pads with my daughter's cloth diapers. I put them in on a warm wash, like, um, warm rinse cycle, cold wash cycle, and that's it. Um, I do not use any fragrance. I usually use free and clear on my pads and, um, I don't use free and clear on my diaper on my daughter's diapers. But sometimes that's what I usually do when I wash my pads. Um, I've never I've washed them by hand a couple times and I don't like doing it by hand, but if I want to get a stain out, that's what I usually do. But I'm not really concerned about stains because they're for your period. They're not going on display for anybody, at least I, not minor at least. But um I mean I have probably close to 30 pads, um, and I know um, if you're sewing your own pads, I would join the Facebook group Sewing Cloth Menstrual Pads. That group has helped me so much. I absolutely love the ladies there. They're so helpful. They have so many files about sewing them, the different materials, and 
I mean, any question you can think of, they can answer it for you because there are years of experience there in different countries. So it's really cool to see everybody's journey with cloth pads. And um, every time somebody talks about their period, I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, this is what I use and all this stuff. But um, I will probably never go back to using disposables. Um, disposables used to give me really bad rashes, and it was really uncomfortable. And my doctor was like, just switch, just put a towel in your underwear. And I thought that was really gross. And then my friend told me about mama cloth. And I was like, well, I guess I can try it out. And I saw that you can sew your own. So I started sewing my own. And then I bought some off of two Etsy shops, Creations by Five. And I can't remember the other one. I don't remember where the other one came from. But I sewed them both. Um, I bought some... And then I sewed a ton of mine up, and when I first started, of course, they looked like absolute. And now they look so much better. They're so cute. Um, this was the last one that I saw. I mean, how cute is this? I mean, plus, look at how the cute patterns. It is such a cute pattern. Sorry my husband is doing stuff. He's That's all the loud noise out there. But, I mean, they come in such pretty pattern. This one was the one that I bought off Etsy. But they come in such pretty patterns, and... Um, if you have a fabric store around you, just go check it out. And sewing is not as hard as people think it is. I mean, I have a bunch of stuff that I've sewn up, and it's just, I mean, I love sewing. It's so relaxing. And cloth pads to me are just such a better choice for my body, not just for the environment, but for my body personally. It's helped me so much. My period has gotten shorter, lighter, less painful, no cramping. I mean, it's just so nice <laughs> to have a system that finally works for my body and I don't have to suffer with my period every month. My period is actually fun now because I get to choose what pads I want, what kind of thicknesses I want, and they come in pretty colors. And my menstrual cup has saved me um, so much. And I probably, I only have one. They usually say to have usually like two so you can trade them on and off. But I've had one for seven months and it's, I mean, it's holding up pretty good, and I absolutely love it. Um, I'm not really going to venture out with using more menstrual cups um, because I'm not, I'm not, I haven't done enough research about the the menstrual cups. <sighs> I hope this video helps anybody who's thinking about using cloth pads to help them switch. Um, like I said, you can sew your own, or you can buy some off Etsy. Either way, you using cloth pads was the biggest, the best choice that you could probably make for your body, at least coming from me. Um, I think that that is amazing that people can use cloth pads. I mean, people before people had disposable, what do you think they were using? Leafs, maybe. I have no idea. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We will see you guys later. Talk to you soon. Bye.